Hello everyone. Good morning. Welcome to Oracle Fusion HCM training by Unogeeks. In this video, we'll see how to burst the BI report output to an SFTP location. In the previous videos, we've seen how to burst the output to UCM. UCM is basically a content server that comes out of the box with EIP or HCM cloud instance. And we've also seen how to email the output out with the help of bursting. But the problem with uploading file to UCMS, uh, the downstream system should have the capability to invoke web services in case they need to pull the file from UCM and process it at their end. And not many downstream systems have the capability to, uh, to invoke web services. And that is where the, you might have to burst the BA report output to an SFTP location. In this video, we'll see how to do this. And we will implement this bursting in a report that we have built in the previous few videos. Uh, in case you haven't watched them, please go back and, and watch the videos uh, about the BA reports. We have created an employee assignment report, which will take in person member as an input and prints a, and it prints employee personal and assignment details. And we want to implement bursting in this uh, report so that the output generated by this report will be placed in SFTP as soon as a user runs an ESS job, okay? So the step is, uh, so there are three steps involved. First of all, you need to register the SFTP server in which you want to place the output. You have to register that SFTP server in the BA administration, okay? That's step number one. And then you need to prepare a bursting query with that SFTP server that you have registered and add it uh, to the data model. Okay, and once you prepare and add the bursting query to the data model, the third step is to run the ESS job and verify if the output is placed in SFTP or not. Okay, let's get started. I'm in the reports and analytics work area, and this is the uh, this is the report that we have created, the employee assignment data model, and this is the employee assignment report. So let's first register, register the SFTP server. And to do that, you have to go into administration, manage BA publisher, under delivery, go to FTP. And you will have to add the SFTP server here. Add server. Give it a name. Call it uh, UnoGeeks SFTP. You have to mention the host and the port. Mention it as use secure SFTP. And you have to mention the username and password. And if you want to upload a PGP key and use it to encrypt the output that is going to be uh, placed in SFTP server, you can do so. If you have a PGP key, you will have to first upload it in a, in a different screen first. And then when you're creating SFTP server connection, you will get to see those PGP keys here and you can pick that one up. So the benefit of uploading, uh, or uploading the PGP key and selecting it here while creating the SFTP connection is, if you are generating a file which might contain sensitive information, you can use this key to encrypt that output before it is placed in SFTP location. Okay, so we'll not get into it. Uh, let's just test the connection, see if it goes through fine. The connection established successfully and let's click on apply. Okay, so we're done with step number one. We have registered the SFTP server as a, uh, or, or we have registered it in the BA admin tab. And now we need to go back to the data model. I should have probably copied the server name. Go to FTP, pick this one up. Okay. 
and let me just create one sample or dummy SQL file and we will start preparing bursting query here. So we have registered the SFTP server and we have registered it with this name. I've copied it already. Okay. And we need to come up with a bursting query now. To come up with a bursting query, go, go back to the data model. Edit it. Copy the driving query. Take out select attributes from the list and we need to select a different set of attributes here. So the query that you need to prepare should look something like this. The query should have a few template related parameters. Let me pull this to a new instance. Okay, so you need to have a certain template level parameters. And I've mentioned person ID as a key, which is going to be a unique, uh, a unique ID and the template name, locale of the template and the output format. You can get this information from the report. So if you go back to the data model, click on get log. Open the report or edit it rather. Click on view a list. You will be able to copy the details from here. I want to use this layout. So I've copied the template. Uh, I've copied the name and given it here, the edited layout. Local is English United States and the output format is PDF. And apart from this, we need to mention certain attributes related to, related to the SFTP server. Okay, so let me copy down those attributes as well so you have to give it a name you can we can probably call it you know geeks emp assignment report.pdf that's fine a delivery channel should be ftp even if it is an sftp server mention it as ftp it's fine and the parameter one should be the server name and this is what uh, this should exactly match with the server name you have given in ba administration remember we have registered the sftp server before this step right and you would have given a name to that server. Copy that name and use it as a parameter one. Remember, it should exactly match with the server name. Otherwise, uh, a file would not be delivered to SFTP. And parameter four is a folder path. Where do you want the file to be deposited? Okay. So I have a BA folder in the SFTP server. So yeah, I will just place the report output in this particular folder. And yes, the parameter file is the file name. What, uh, with what name the file should be placed in this BI folder. That's okay. I'll, I'll use the same name. Parameter six, pass it as true, and that's fine. So this is how you come up with a bursting query, copy it, go back to data model. and add the bursting query in there. Burst to SFTP, SQL query, data source is HCM, split by person ID, delivered by person ID. And since we have two tables here, which have got person ID column, if you paste this query as is, you will get a uh, get an error. So to resolve that, you have to mention alias name for a person ID. Okay, so I've, I've just mentioned that, yeah, I've, I've just prefixed the table name for all people here so that you don't get that uh, ambiguous column error. Save it. And now we can go back and run the report. So if you want to, uh, if you want to understand how to create a BA report, a data model, RTF layout, and how to register it as an ESS job, check out our, our previous videos. We have, uh, I've explained the process uh, in a series of three to four videos. Okay, check them out if you want. And let's just run this report. Run it for 
101 employee. You can see that the job has completed, completed successfully. And you could see arrow mark indicating that yes, there was some bursting defined. And if you expand it, you could see the you could see the SFTP bursting details that we have entered in there. And you could see a green tick, which means yes, the PDF file that is generated as an output was placed in SFTP server successfully. So refresh it, and you should be able to see the PDF output placed in the SFTP location. So this is how you can burst a BI report output to SFTP. And this will come handy in case you want to pass on some information from ERP or HCM cloud to downstream systems or third party applications, which do not have the capability to invoke web services, but can connect to SFTP server. In the next video, we'll see how to migrate BI and OTBI reports. Over the past few videos, we have seen how to build a BI report various components involved and we have also seen how to register it as an ESS job and implement bursting and in the next one we're going to see how to migrate the BA or an OTBA report from one instance to another instance. Same approach is applicable for both BA and OTBI. Please join me there. Thank you for watching this video. In case you are interested in Fusion HCM training offered by Unogeeks, uh, please call us on this number or send a WhatsApp message or you can mail us on info at Thank you.